This is Mike with Drumline. I'm with Adrian Benavides and Robin Diaz. Hola. They, they play with Daughtry. We both and, uh, play well, with Daughtry. Both, well, we have a tech, and it's tech week at Drumline, and we have a drummer. He fills in and a you lot. Guys, and you guys are the teamwork. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your relationship. Been going at this for three years, okay. and I had a, a tech prior. Adrian came in almost, uh, what, about a year ago? No, it's not been that long. A few months. A few, a few okay. months. So you don't See, get uh, you props. don't get your full vacation benefits yet, because <laughs> if you would have just said yeah, it's been a year, you would have been in the, oh, man. in the Bahamas, but you screwed up. Bottom line is this: best tech I've had That's in, awesome. in in umpteenth years of playing and touring, and uh, he's, it's great to have a guy that actually is your friend as well as knowing knowing your drums in and out. Um, he's he's kind of telepathic when it comes to what I need done, and uh, it's really really reassuring for me to trip on this kid every night in in a full house, knowing that my drums are taken care of, and then I'm going to sound good. And uh, yeah, that's why we all love Adrian here. That's right. Well, you know, a lot of people know the drummers. The drummers get a lot of coverage. We know what you guys do. That's yes. what you guys do. That's pyro. Oh, pyro went off. You don't even need to play the bass. So if they put off a lot of pyro, yes, in time, in time, then you could just play the snare. Yes. But anyway, um, we exposed a little bit of what the tech world was like through yes. uh, through a few different interviews. Robbie Cope today. And, Robbie Cope uh, is awesome. You've been at this three years. Three years of this uh, band. Touring, yeah, touring and playing with Dodger. Three years. Okay, and then you guys got a lot of hit songs, a lot of popular Lots. music. Yes. Very fortunate these days. Yes. And you bonomize the heck out of everything. That's uh, during what I do. Yes. And you and you're filming tonight. Three songs. I will be shooting uh, some still photos. So okay. Okay. when I do shoot those, would you hold absolutely still? Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right, and uh, you can move back here because it's really tech world. Uh, well, I do a lot of dancing back here. Just, you know, kind of. I'm gonna leave this now. Okay. <laughs> All right. Mr. Thank Adrian you for the Benavides. Interview. Hey. All right. Thank you guys. All right. Great. Drumline. Yep. All right. That's us. See you guys. Right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the time. My world is pretty much behind. Uh, Robin's drum kit and I run playback during the show. Okay. Um, so I have basically a, a rig that runs Ableton Live and okay. um, I have a controller here. Yep, it's, it's a redundant rig. Uh, so both computers are, are mirrors of each other. Something blew up. You yep, got something went one. wrong. I've got the other one that's playing back at the exact same time and our, our radial DIs just automatically flip uh, okay. knowing when the, the signal gets lost. Um, so what I'm running back here is uh, click tracks so that the band can hear uh, and keep time with each other okay. uh, and uh, a couple of cues that the front of house uh, d doesn't hear. Uh, the audience does not hear that. Um, and then we've got a couple of, you know, just kind of some backing things, a little intro noises and a couple of synth sounds that are just kind of, you know, kind of help. help and you tried to trigger those because he doesn't have any yeah. foot triggers. It's all <clears> acoustic that's, drums that's up right. there, I'm, right? I'm triggering things back here. Uh, most of it is just kind of start a song. There, there's a couple of moments where I have to... Uh, come in here and, and make sure I trigger things right at the start of a chorus or you know things like that. So there's a little bit of performance aspect to it, uh, which kind of keeps things fresh and fun during the show and mm -hmm. focused and all that kind of stuff. So when that's not going on, uh, I've got my eyes 100% on Robin okay. during the show, uh, and that's the other half of my gig is uh, drum tech. And um, so you know every day I, I, I spend a lot more time with the drums than I do uh, with with the computer rig because <clears throat> I've already programmed everything for the session so this is all good to go every night okay um you know sometimes we'll have a couple of songs we need to change you know the, the set order and things like that so that'll just take a few minutes uh but yeah most of my day is drum maintenance and and uh you know making sure the kit looks good and sounds good um and uh you know it's pretty straightforward robin's a really heavy hitter uh, yes. he's a solid drummer and so you know it really makes my job easy I, I, all i gotta do is just Make sure that they're 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 bonum ready, as you put it. You know the kind of style that he plays uh, is just really big open fills, and so I like to right. make sure that the drums have a nice, big open musical sound to them. And because he's a heavy hitter, does uh, he go through a few heads and things? Anything break you during know, the show? You know, surprisingly, just... uh, there's only been one time when we've had to change a snare head in the middle of the show. I mean, the the, the remos that we use are solid. Um, you know, they're they're great uh, for everyday use and these drums live on this riser and go straight onto the truck. They don't go on into cases. Oh, my goodness. So we absolutely rely 100% on Remo and Pork Pie uh, to, you know, have some, some stability, and, and they deliver. Absolutely. Well, I saw you uh, wheel my heart split, and then you guys put the wreck. Put yeah, the, uh, yeah. So all I got to do together. is just flip the kick over to one side, and okay. that just lives there. And we have some bungee cords that we just kind of hold everything down so it doesn't shake around too are you, much are you making truck. fun of Robbie Cope on his way out because he has to break down every single oh thing. man oh. he's uh, you know 
Uh, we, we give each other some grief sometimes. You know? And Robbie gets to set up two kits. <clears throat> oh, yeah, absolutely. So, well, because he's not happy. Some, some days I have one. to set up two kits as well. We have a practice oh, kit that oh, okay. we set up in dressing rooms. So. Oh, okay. Is it a full on kit or is it practice pads? It's or? a full kit. And, oh, okay. uh, you know, we'll have that set up on days where we have enough space for it. But Robin D has RD research and development. You guys, one of your, one of your, well, one of your, not to make a joke. Well, yeah. actually, that was funny. Yeah. But no, you guys do the research on the field. You try the products. You give Absolutely. them feedback. Pork pie. Yeah, we're using what the new vintage. So uh, yeah, we're using the new vintage Emperor heads on the toms now, and uh, man, those sound great. We we had the clear heads on for the last leg, uh, and those sounded really solid too. Um, but with these, we get a little bit more of the modern attack. A little bit more. Of that. A little bit more of that crack, you know. Now, was that scripted? You said attack, and there was a snare drum hit. Like and, a single uh, snare drum hit. Robbie Cope heard you yeah, say attack. Yeah, that's, that's Robbie on the drums back there. Um, Hold up, Robbie. Go to your job. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, I mean, the, the, we try out different things and, and, and let them know how, how we like them and how they work out, uh, you know, doing road tests and, and such. And, yeah, so far these Vintage Emperors are really, really great. It's, it's, a, it's a good, you know, it's the best of both worlds. You get that that modern attack and, and, you know, feel, and then you still get some of that vintage, you know, that, that thick sort of vibe that, that Robin likes on, on those toms. So, yeah. And so you use uh, Sabian, I guess? Uh? Yes, he's got Sabian symbols. Uh, they've, they've been great for us. Uh, he, you know, he, he rarely cracks anything, but, you know, it happens. It's Did you see uh, the Sabian uh, display at NAM the last couple of years? I haven't. It's like smoking on fire. First, there was a tower, and it's like 200 symbols on it. It's like 25 feet tall. Oh, nice. And uh, this year, they had LEDs behind it, and they only smoked it out a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, but it was really cool. That's and cool. then you can check that out. We got that up. Yeah, 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 I'll have to check it out.